Thank you, President Donahue. Yeah. Our commencement speaker today is a dedicated public servant who is committed to the common good, particularly through his efforts to improve educational opportunities for California's young people. Tom Torlakson, as State Superintendent of Public Instruction, is Chief of California's Public School System and leader of the California Department of Education. His educational leadership as a science teacher, a high school coach, and state policymaker all serve him in advocating for California students and improving our state's public education system. From the classrooms of Contra Costa County's Mount Diablo Unified School District to the Antioch City Council, the Contra Costa County Board of Supervisors, and the California State Senate and State Assembly, Torlakson has focused on improving education. During his tenure in the California State Legislature, he worked to protect education funding, improve student nutrition and physical education, ensure school safety, increase funding for textbooks, computers, and other instructional materials, and worked to close the digital divide, diminish achievement gaps, and reduce dropout rates. In his current leadership role, Torlakson led the effort to apply rigorous new California State standards in English, mathematics, and science. He has advocated for increasing our investment in education and giving local school districts more flexibility in making spending decisions. Torlakson has also promoted the idea of meeting the needs of the whole child by expanding pre-kindergarten and after-school and summer programs, increasing access to health care and mental health services, and promoting nutritious food and regular exercise. Under his leadership, the state's high school graduation rate rose to an all-time high of 80 percent, with a graduation rate hitting nearly 95% for those students in career preparation programs. Torlakson was re-elected to a second four-year term as California's 27th State Superintendent of Public Instruction on November 4th, 2014. We are honored to have Superintendent Tom Torlakson here with us today. Please join me in welcoming him. Thank you, Beth. And Good morning, is it a great day? Are you feeling the joy? Are you here to celebrate? Well, thank you, it is indeed an honor. Uh, what a joy to join you on this momentous occasion. I've represented Contra Costa County as a legislator and county supervisor, and I've always had the highest, highest respect for the outstanding educational institutions at this wonderful college, St. Mary's. And thank you, President Donahue, for your leadership in keeping these traditions alive and strong. Let's hear it for our president. And congratulations to each and every one of you. Your hard work and your talents brought you here today. I've been lucky to be a teacher and coach, as Beth mentioned, for a long time. I've long believed in the power of team, in the team theme, Spelling it out, T-E-A-M, what's it stand for? Together, everyone accomplishes more. And I believe in that, and it, it, it turns things in the right direction. The teams that are gathered here today, your team, the faculty, your family, your friends, your fellow students, you're an outstanding team. And you have hundreds of them represented today. I served in the Merchant Marines. I taught high school science. I was a coach in track and cross country, as was mentioned. And now I oversee 10,000 schools and six and a quarter million students in their education. And at every step in my career, I saw how much more you can do when people work together in teams. There's an African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. You have studied in many different specialized fields, but one thing you all have in common you had a terrific team right here at St. Mary's, and you've had terrific teachers. The mission of St. Mary's is guided by the Christian Brothers, the Catholic Church's oldest order dedicated exclusively to educating, to teaching. And St. John the Baptist de La Salle, the founder of the Christian Brothers and the patron saint of teachers, had this to say, to touch the hearts of your pupils is the greatest miracle you can perform. I want all of you to just take a moment to think back to your high school years, maybe even to middle school, and to your time here at St. Mary's and visualize two or three of the teachers who made a profound impact on your life. Do that for a moment. Just think back and you visualize those, those teachers, those professors here. And we need more wonderful teachers. 
and we are all inspired and lifted up by those who believe in us and help us set our goals and reach high. We do have a serious teacher shortage in California, and so I'm delighted to be here to join 60 of you who are getting credentials and will be going into the classroom as teachers for the first time. Would those 60 just raise their hands and let's, let's hear it for them. Thank you. And we have others of you who are going on to higher degrees, masters in education. Uh, you're already in the classroom. You're already on the front line. Could you raise your hand and let's thank them for your valiant work every day. So we have seen, though, however, across the state a drop in candidates enrolled uh, to earn a credential. Just a few years ago, it was 40,000 wishing to get a teaching credential. Now there's only 15,000 a year. And last year, we were 7,000 short of the teachers we needed to fill our classrooms with the leadership that our teachers do provide. I support a package of bills pending in the state capitol right now. Uh, Chris Sint and I were talking about this, your dean for the School of Education. There's many new opportunities we're creating to recruit teachers to the profession, to recruit young people to the profession. And we're also working to find more opportunities for people who want to change careers and become teachers. And thank you, St. Mary's, for the excellent programs you have had here traditionally over so many years. You have guided so many outstanding teachers to success, preparing them for the incredible joys and meaningful careers that you have in education. This brings me to where I want to share with you some of the excitement taking place in California K-12 education. We are moving forward with what we call the California way. What does this mean? It means upgrading our entire education system so that it can better serve the needs of all of our students. By working together, we avoided the acrimony and the disputes that many other states have experienced in implementing the Common Core Standards. The California way means encouraging groundbreaking changes in our state's education system through collaboration and consensus. We are changing what students learn, how schools are funded, how they're evaluated, what are our targets defining success. We have put a premium on local control and have enacted major reforms designed to give power back to school districts, teachers, and communities. There is more critical thinking, problem solving, hands-on, minds-on learning, a career technical education, leading the nation in what we're investing there. Students are building houses. They're working in medical labs. Uh, they're turned on to their learning. They see learning with a purpose. It was mentioned the graduation rates at an all-time high is actually at 82 percent. It went up 2 percent uh, in the last year and a half. Um, but the students in these career tech, isn't that a good thing? Graduation rate up from 74 percent to 82 percent. But in the career technical education courses, we find students graduating at the 95 percent level. So there's far less rote memorization and a lot more creative thinking going on and where we're headed. Now, we had the chance, Congress had looked at the different proponents, uh, the different elements of our approach, and said, let's, let's do more of that. We had the new federal law just passed, ESSA, Every Student Succeeds Act. One year ago, though, there was some pessimism. After six years of gridlock in Congress, hope was fading. Ten school chiefs from around the country and myself met with President Obama to discuss the future of education. He was optimistic. And finally, a team effort broke the gridlock, and we have the new law, reflecting many parts of the California way. I believe we should be all optimists and keep setting our goals high. We live in an exciting place and time, California in the 21st century. And we face fierce global competition and many challenges, huge challenges. One challenge is funding. And here's where I'll move to wrap up my perspective. Funding, investing in our goals. Do you know where California is ranked with the other 50 states and what we invest per pupil? 41st in the nation. To me, that is unacceptable. It's a disgrace for a state with the capacity and creativity that we have. We used to always be in the top five. Good news, Californians clearly care about their schools and they're willing to invest more. A Public Policy Institute poll recently conducted in the month of April said six out of 10 Californians want to see an increase in the level of funding to our schools. Those of you going into education, would you like to see that? Yeah. And wouldn't the rest of us like to see that too? 63% yeah. of our 
of our voters in California also say they're willing to renew Prop 30. Wouldn't we like to see preschool for all four-year-olds and all three-year-olds? Wouldn't we like to see more career technical education? Wouldn't we like to see more art, music, drama, and civics back in our classrooms, right? Wouldn't we like to see smaller class sizes? The $8 billion in, in Prop 30, the renewal initiative, will be a decision for us to make this coming November. I urge you to do some homework and study that measure. There's also a school bond on the ballot, another way to invest $9 billion in improving our public schools. So our state and our nation, we need you. Your talents, your intelligence, your passion, your creativity, your problem solving, your commitment, your imagination, your teamwork. Again, I want to personally congratulate each and every one of you for believing in yourselves and setting high goals and working hard to achieve them. Enjoy this moment. Best wishes for success and fun. God bless.